Bruh. That didn't go the way I thought it was gonna go. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Another good win. Let's go. Give it up to them Knicks, baby. We out here. I mean, I know it's the Kings. Let's not get too crazy. KP was back. We played well. Courtney Lee dropping 20. The whole team just looked good. Neil Akina didn't score much. Again, same thing we talk about aggression. But I mean, after dropping dimes like he did with KP on the pick and roll, it was just fire. I'm a day late, so we're going to get into it real quick. But I also want to talk about a few things that's going to be after the highlight reel. So stick around for that because I need y'all opinions for a few things. But before we get into any of that, we got to get into the comment of the video. Much love to everybody commenting in the comment section. I reply to every single one of you guys. Every single one of y'all. Don't at me. I'm telling you, everybody gets a reply from CK2K, man. It's all about y'all, man. I love communicating with you guys about the Knicks and basketball and life and the support y'all be giving. Anyways, comment of the video. All right, this one comes from Kid Coheed. Kid Coheed, shout out to you. Beasley needs to be the energizer off the bench he, like he was last year. Either that or we need some crews in here. Frank definitely needs some more minutes. Yeah, well, I gave that look because we just released Kuz so we can have some space for Noah. So uh, we're going to talk about Noah and a few other Knicks topics later on in the video. But I wanted to give this one a shout out because of the first part, the Beasley part. Now, I am a fan of Michael Beasley, the basketball player. Now, he is just a flat out baller. The man is just instant buckets when he wants to be. The man is a hustler when he wants to be. And when we originally made that signing, I thought it was perfect timing for him because he, he had hopefully matured a little bit. Um, seeing him last year, he didn't play many minutes, but he was very humble. And when he did get in the game, he was dropping buckets, playing good defense, hustling, doing what he had to do. But they didn't really need him over on the Milwaukee Bucks. So that's a signing that I want to see come to fruition. I think it will in time. You know, we see flashes of it every now and then where he just comes out, bang, instant points. And I think that's a player he needs to be. But I agree with this. He needs to come off, be that energizer. And I think that's something that can still happen later on in the season. Before we get into any other stuff in this video, let's watch the highlights from the Kings game, baby. Take it away, uh, voiceover Chris. Luckily, we are doing another W for the Knicks. Now, look at this shot there by Bogdan Bonabana. I can't say his name. But the, like I said earlier on, the Sacramento Kings went on an early run, but it really did not go that well for them later on in the game. Yes, they were up 10-0 in this canter, hitting that first shot for us. But the rest of the game just was in the books for the Knicks. It was looking good, man. All around game, fun stuff from the Kings. But when KP started hitting that three ball, it was game over. Look at this steal here, fast break by Tim Hardaway Jr. Getting it back to my man Courtney Lee, like I said, dropping 20 points in this game. Courtney Lee, you know, you're just so accustomed to seeing him be a catch and shoot kind of guy, Tim Hardaway Jr. Getting that to KP. Getting the shot there. It should have been a foul. Should have been an and one. But like I said, man, we started a rally and it was game over for the rest of this game. Now, I'm not going to show the entire game highlights this game because it was a blowout and most of the stuff happened in the first half. So we're just going to show the first half highlights there. Here's in this canter hitting a great shot off the hook. And it was just one thing after another. I love seeing these type of games. I know a lot of people don't like watching blowouts, but here comes one of my favorite plays of the game, KP. I just love the confidence by KP. And when I say one of my favorite plays, I mean like just the sheer just I'm going to pull up and hit this in your eye is one of my things. But we all know this one, the pick and roll, the Nilekina jam from Porzingis. Now that is the connection that we hope we see a lot more of in the future, but man oh man, Frankie just has the eye. Now look at Courtney Lee, I'm telling you, just hitting shot after shot. And from then on, it was just going downhill and the Knicks were able to turn around and get this W. Let's go y'all, seven and five, we are over 500. Hit that like button for being over 500. I'm telling y'all, we killing the game y'all. So all in all, easy enough game okay kings came in there you know they they showed some heart in the first quarter like you know most of these young teams do but we were just clicking on all cylinders 
again, we're proving that the garden is not a place where you can just come in and get easy wins anymore. We make you work. And in this blowout, was the case for that. Just, ah, just watching that, it's just like how I want the Knicks to play the rest of the season, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but let's get into some other topics that happened this past weekend with the Knicks. First off, I need a shout out to my boy LeBron James. But my man coming out here firing shots at our boy Frankie, I mean, my Frankie, Mr. Frankie, Mr. Steal of the Draft Frankie, excuse you, LeBron. First of all, he want to come out talking about that the Knicks messed up not get i mean i'm gonna be completely honest when we first passed on dennis smith jr and also malik monk two guys i was a big fan of i was upset i'm like who's this frank kid you know we were just all in this phase of phil jackson was just making mistakes and you know he just didn't care so we're gonna get this french kid and just piss people off but anyways all that being said if you guys don't know yet listen to what lebron james had to say about us not picking dennis smith jr suck a man the, uh, the knicks pass on, on a really good one and the dallas and dallas got the the diamond in the rough this should be a minute. you again why is he calling us out why is it gotta be the knicks there were other teams that did not that Frankie, CK2K, and probably the people in the comment section below, we love you, and we glad that you're a Nick, man. I know that you have the potential to be a great player. A defensive mind can, and And Dennis Smith, you can blow up all you want. The Mavericks ain't doing a day. Bron, in the words of my man, LeVar Ball, stay in your lane, bro. I just want to know what you guys think. That's my honest opinion. Let me know in the comment section below. And if you think I'm crazy, let it be known. Remember to also follow me on my Twitter. Not enough of y'all coming over and supporting me when these Knicks games going on. I'm tweeting. Come follow me on Twitter. I'm CKTV. All right. We out here. We talking Knicks all day, baby. Also, check out the main channel if you want some gaming stuff. I haven't uploaded on it for about a month because I've been focusing on this channel and with y'all. But go check out the gaming channel, man. Comedy up there. Sketches, vlogs. Support the boy, man. Support CK. We out here, man. I eat, y'all eat. That's how it runs. I love y'all. Next game, we got the Cavs tonight. All right, Bron, you can come to New York, but it's going to be the same situation when we was in. Okay, I'm not going to get too crazy. Cle Cleveland tonight. Let me know what you got. Cleveland tonight. We going to, Neil Keenan going to dunk on. I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Much love, everybody. We out here. Frank Neil Aquino, Dennis Smith Jr. All right. Thank you.